How can you define blind or buried vias from your PadStack editor? With PadStack editor open, go to the start. And here you would create a blind buried via. So choose this option. And then you can set maybe a normal circular pad geometry. Then you would go to define your drill settings. So set your finish diameter to whatever makes sense for your design. Let's say 10 mils for the diameter of the via. And then we'll go to secondary drill is not an option here. The drill symbol you would set to something that makes sense. I choose cross and then set it to the same diameter as the defined drill hole. There will be no drill offset. Now let's go to design layers. The thing about blind or buried vias is that normally they are not visible all throughout the printed circuit board. In this case, we'll make a blind via that goes only from layer one on a printed circuit board or L1, which would be layer two in this case. It goes from L1 down to the bottom layer or end layer of the PCB. And we avoid the top layer of the PCB altogether, which is also called the begin layer in this tool. So it could get confusing. Maybe we'll call this L2. But we have to make sure of an important note. In the printed circuit board design, like what is behind here, the copper layer name has to match the name that's in this buried via or this blind via. The layer names have to match mostly for the internal layers. The begin layer and end layer names are fine to keep. Okay, so now we'll define the L2 copper diameter as maybe 23 mils. We can copy that value, paste it for any default internal layers that are not just layer two, and also for the layer at the bottom of the PCB, but not the top layer of the PCB. Let's go ahead and save this. So go to file, save as. It will issue some warnings, but we'll close that, save with warnings. Now I would highly recommend saving in this folder. And we would name it whatever you'd like to name it. So let's go with something like pad 20 to denote the copper pad diameter and circle 10 drill to note the drill diameter. Save. Now this blind via can only work if the layer names are the same, at least the internal layer names. So let me show you. Let's go to setup constraints and then you'll go to your physical panel on the left here. Under physical constraint set on all layers, you want to select that and then scroll to the vias column. Next, select the layer where you want to place your custom vias by just clicking once on that row. Go ahead and filter by name. The via you saved in the default library should become available. Now, notice that the name exists, but there's no icon here. And I can't seem to get any sort of graphic verification that this blind or buried via will work. Normally, you're supposed to see the via. Unfortunately, the software can't map this via. Why is that? The layer names need to match. Right now, my conductor layer 2 is called L1, but I should have it match the layers that are defined in the blind buried via. So let's hit cancel, minimize this, go to the PCB stack up, so set up cross section, and instead I will name this L2. Click apply, then OK. So now when I go to setup constraints, then go to the physical all layers option, then go to my VS column and search for the new blind buried via. I find that it's now available and has the icon, whereas my other blind buried via does not. 
That's because the layer names match L2. And see, it appears. It goes from L2, and then any internal conductive layers, it will also make a pad connection to, and then the end layer. But it ignores the begin layer entirely. So let's put this side by side. There is no pad stack on the begin layer. Layer 2 has a circular pad. Default conductive internal layers would have regular pad as well, but not planes if it's not the same net. And then the end layer, which is the bottom layer in any PCB, it would have the pad as well. Once that is set and verified, you can go ahead and make sure this is in the column for this layer of the printed circuit board rules. And then you click OK. Now you have multiple vias you can use for this particular layer in your constraint manager. So that is how you define a blind via.